Chaz, who is now 17, could be sentenced to 10 years in prison, but his mom Dana says her son was a star athlete who has fallen in with a bad crowd. My 17-year-old son Chaz is currently facing five felonies because of the police manhunt he was involved in. Someone called the police and told them he had a gun. Because of that, he got arrested. When the police removed him from the car, Chaz took off running and then hid in an abandoned building, causing a seven and a half hour standoff. The five felony counts against him are assault with a dangerous weapon, assault and resisting arrest, unlawful escape, and assault and battery. He could get 10 years max in prison. All of this is absolutely mortifying. Jail doesn't scare me. The people in there don't scare me. If you do the crime, do the time. He just wants to be hood so he can hang out in the streets all day. Live by the streets and die by the streets. Chaz failed a drug test last month. He tested positive for marijuana. Like once you see people driving down the street every day, they just get to know you. Like, I done took taxi cabs so damn much that the taxi be smoking with me, for real. Like, I'll blow wood with a taxi driver. He has money. I don't know where he gets it from because I don't give it to him. He joked with me that he was selling drugs. Then he says, I'm just playing, Mom. There has to be some truth to what he's saying. I make money from regular people. Any hustle, making that money. I'm a businessman. Last year, we got into a fight because he snuck his girlfriend into our house. He ended up punching a window out and got 18 stitches. I'm at the end of my rope with Chaz. I've thought about when he turns 18, and it makes me cry because there's nothing I can do to control him. I'm terrified that he might lose his life. Well, Dana, you're in a pickle, right? Yeah. You're his mother. And so you're saying, this is my baby who, until a few years ago, was charming and a great kid and a good student and an athlete. And now he's gone out and done some really stupid things. Yes. He got caught with a gun. Where did he get the gun? I have no idea. You certainly didn't give it to him. You didn't oh, help no. him buy it, or no. did you know he had it? I did not. And what do you think he was doing with that gun? I think he was trying to um, show it off, make himself look cool. You said he's a wannabe gangster. Yeah, he wants street cred. So is he a poser or is he really somebody that would take a gun and go out and shoot somebody and take their life. No, he, I, don't, I don't believe that he would ever actually shoot somebody and take their life. I don't believe that. I think that, yeah, he's posing. So you say he's not that pathological? No. He says he got out of his handcuffs because you taught him how to do it. No, he asked me. I'm double jointed in my thumbs. Yeah. And I thought that was cool. I never thought that my son would use that as a way to take handcuffs off. The, you can. Make yeah, your hands smaller. Can, yeah. And he was just sitting there thinking, oh, you know, mom said. <laughs> yeah, I asked him too, like, what possessed you to do that? And he told me a different story. He told me that he used a wire out of a screen and a pop can to take that off. Right. Well, there, well, I won't say how you do it. You also said when he was picked up, you were offended that he was bruised. I was a little bit. I just was afraid that maybe the police beat on him. I think you're damn lucky he wasn't shot. 